So I tell everybody, this is the finish line. So if you're playing football, this is it. So that property was a nightmare. So many, I guess when you get an investment in real estate, you, you think about it and you're like, I want to go flip a house. I want to go build a house. You just don't know until you get involved into it, all the processes and the hassle and the contractors. So we enjoyed it. It turned out beautiful. But uh, Carla gets to get the ending sign. And this is where you get your check. So hopefully it all pays off. You get a check. Yeah. But you might not get one if you don't do it right. So we're here and uh, glad you guys are helping us. So. Awesome. Thank you. I'm happy for you. Yeah, glad. Thank you for getting it done. <laughs> but I was calling on 343 Forest Oak Drive. We've got an issue on the um, on the seller's closing statement. There's a home warranty charge on there, and there should be. So I need to get that addressed. Um, Closing disclosure came over last minute. Just in our business, title companies, they wait to the 11th hour. Guess what? Numbers aren't right. It's sure to be some money. So we got to go back, got to redo the closing. Hello. No, we're good. We don't need anything. Thank you. Knoxville, vlog 15. You guys excited? Can't wait to see what's on the other side of this door. Stay with us. Hey guys, thanks for staying with us. But we're talking about going that extra mile, going that step above. And Dee and I were talking a little bit about that and it was like, what really is that step above, that extra mile? And I was thinking, I was like, that's a good thought. Why would you waste all your time, your whole day, to go up here to a property that you don't even know you have, right? You don't even know if you're gonna get the listing. Seller may be upside down, may not wanna sell it. He may sell it by himself. Who knows, right? Well, I put all this extra effort. I brought my team up here. I said, let's be efficient. Let's, if we're gonna go here, let's do everything at one time. And I think going that extra mile, just as anybody in business, how does it pay the dividends? How does it make a difference? I think it makes the difference and it's all in your work ethic and it's called fundamentals. My daughter's little, we were doing soccer. I was telling my wife, she was going back through another session and I was like, honey, it's the same thing. They're going through the same process they're doing the same foundation. Sports, business, life, it's all about repetition, right? And I think this is the same thing. Once you develop a skill in your business that you go the extra mile, that you return those phone calls, right? When you go meet a client that calls and wants you to solve a problem, that you come here with full speed and you give somebody 110%. I think, and I think I know, what that's gonna do for you is those, those repetitions like my daughter kicking the soccer ball. You're gonna get that ingrained in your business and you're gonna be unstoppable. But it's the guys that aren't willing to do the extra mile. They'll get the call and they'll say, oh yeah, maybe you're gonna sell. And he's already gonna be negative. Kind of that glass half empty, glass half full deal. He's already thinking that he's not gonna get the deal or oh, he's not gonna price it right or I may be wasting my time. So the guy doesn't even show up. We talk about this all the time. If you don't show up, you can't win. And if you definitely don't show up with your best game, you have no opportunities. So I would say that going that extra mile is that foundation in business. You guys always never know who's watching, never know who you're gonna be dealing with on the other end. I think the biggest thing is how much effort you put into this sale or your transaction or your business could give you tenfold, but you never know who's watching. But if you have great fundamentals, Great foundation, you're always gonna win the mark. You're always gonna win in business. Hopefully, we win on this one. You will see. We'll see if hard work pays off. But if anything else, it was a great opportunity. Business and in life, it's always about opportunity to engage. And if you can't have a conversation, I just got a call a few minutes ago, been in the market for a year. A whole year, had one showing. Is that crazy? The market's so hot. But he called us with that opportunity. So it starts with the phone call. So 
remembering the market, remembering the sales cycle where we want to wait for those phones to ring, we have to always understand that where much is given, much is expected. You have to treat every deal as it was your only deal so that when you go out, you give 110%. You guys know if you're in the sales business, you're in the marketing, if you've got so much business going on, you may not work the smaller end deal or that, that seller looks like they're gonna be a lot of trouble or a lot of headaches. You may put that to the wayside. Remember your fundamentals. Always follow up, always show up, and make sure you give everybody 110% like it's your only deal. Because remember, it could be your only deal. It could be your last deal. So make sure you show up, man. That's my tip today, man. That's all we're talking about this. I'm gonna walk through this property. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the property. We're gonna look at it, we're gonna tour it. We're gonna go through some numbers for my seller. I'll show you this and I gotta get back to the office because I gotta go back to a closing for the second time, maybe second time's a charm. So come on, Dave, we're gonna walk through here and let's go here in the kids' bedroom. They're pretty awesome. And this laundry room, man, it's amazing. It's a laundry room, let's walk through here. Pretty amazing, new washer and dryers. Not sure if they convey. I can probably get you a good deal though. This master bath, man, that's pretty awesome. A, a shower, pretty sure you could have 10 or 15 people in here, pretty sure. I won't mention anything, but standing room only in the shower. You wanna see? Come on, let's, let's go in here, man. Look at this thing. Woo! Recess lighting, look at the tile work. Electronic controls. My wife's gonna be jealous. If she sees this, she's gonna wanna shower like that. That means I have to sell a lot more houses because this costs some cash. Oh, closets. We can't show them all that because then, let's do it, let's show them all that. Look at this, multiple closets. Space over here, another space over there. Don't show them everything, dude. They gotta wait to come look at the listing on the tour. And the master, got the, got the shades drawn, so bright outside. Beautiful, TV over here. Come on, let's walk through here real quick. And what I love about it is, no home will be complete without a man cave. Gotta have your theater room, man. Work hard, let me show you this theater room. I showed you guys the office, beautiful. Custom door, custom woodwork. Well, look at this, man, your own theater. How great is that? Pretty cool. Got your speakers, got your Frankenstein. Gone with the wind. Love the setup. This community is really growing. And they got all new construction. I'll walk you outside and show you what they got going on. Come on, let's walk outside and show you what they got going on. And that was awesome, spent some good time. That was a little bit of effort, right? But anything worthwhile takes a little bit of effort. But just spending the time out here, it was raining just a few minutes before we got out here. Sun opened up, gorgeous. Look at this, look at this. I mean, I gotta show you this while I'm here, right? You follow me, I gotta show you the views. Look how awesome. Isn't it great to see so much new construction, everything going on? And what I was telling you guys, this little bit extra effort, yeah, it's a couple hours of your time. But how does that make a difference? How does that make a difference when you work with Sally or Billy or Bob that you've worked with a long time and it's been two years, right? And you need to reach out to them. Hey Sally, I was over in Sevierville. I was just thinking about you guys, pulled you up. Just wanted to, wanted to say thank you guys and see if there's anything in the world I can do for you. How have you guys been? Are you enjoying your new home? Are you enjoying your new product? Guys, little things like that. The devil's in the details, but it's making that extra call. And like we're saying here, Go in that extra mile. Who else is going to do that? People aren't because they're lazy. But see, if you do that, you're going to separate yourself from the competition so quickly. You're going to go above and beyond. Just like those foundations we talked about in the house, you're going to build a solid foundation. You have a repeatable track record. And guess what? Before you know it, you just automatically go out here and do above and beyond. 
and see. It's easy to separate yourself in the marketplace where everybody wants to be average. I hope you guys enjoyed following us. Vlog 15, it's over. No dancing, no little one, but it was a good one. Got to get back to the office. We closed another investment property down for the second time, but I appreciate you guys following us. Vlog 15 is officially a wrap. Have a good one.